with the coverage there. McKinnis reaches up, brings it down, 12 yards, first down BC. Evening here in Calgary, and this time he's gonna run that little out route right at the marker. And Vernon Adams wasn't sure. He was up and getting, he had to go and win the jump ball, and this is what Dominic he can make it happen. He's infused a lot of excitement in the Lions. Another three-man rush. And finding that spot, Justin McKinnis with his second catch of this ball game. I mean, he was sacked once with just three-man pressure by Ely, but... Filled in admirably until Rourke came back late in the season in time for the playoffs. Here's a deep look, Adams. Oh, what a catch! What a catch, McKinnis! Doesn't get the ball thrown his way a lot, but he's had some beautiful grabs. Well, the game was still in the balance a week ago against Calgary when he made a huge catch on second and long on the sideline. Just the third incompletion of this game for Adams, who's 13 of 16, second and 10. Completes that one in a crowd to McKinnis. Well, now let's see him, see what he can do in open field. Six carries, 39 yards in this one. Another completion to McKinnis. Whoa. So a couple of catches on this drive and then another Lions first down. And looking for more all of a sudden. Vernon Adams, four-man rush Got into it. the end zone. Justin McKinnis. And this is a lion onslaught right here in Winnipeg. McKinnis going to come right over in this area of the field here. He's a big target. 6'5 plus. Left to right. Vernon sees him. Spots it out there. Nobody's there. Just let. That's a catchable ball. Let 18 secure it. See Andrew Harris. BC's offense on the field, they pump, now go down the sideline, wide open, Justin McKinnis, blocker in front is Dominique Grimes, McKinnis going for a run, yards after the catch, and BC comes out of the timeout with a big shot play down the sideline on the pump and go. You have an interception tonight, a little hit screen fake right out there, this, that swing back and then down the sideline. And how about the blocking downfield by Dominic Grimes? Riding with Royce Mechie there. Second and ten. Four-man rush. VA has time. No evades. Flips it out. McKinnis. And Peters comes up to make the tackle. That'll be very close to the first down marker. Second and seven. For Evans in this offense. Four-man rush. Evans over the middle. Down the field. This time it's all in. Redemption for McKinnis. No bobble there. And he's got him down to the 30. Kenneth's going to be the trailer in the trips to the left side, the wide side of the field. A little bit of changing of responsibilities, and he's just going straight down the numbers. Moncrief is deep. He gets influenced by that inside curl and doesn't get out there in time. He sees in business. 93 penalty yards already for Edmonton in this game. Look at Evans on the move to his right, looking towards the end zone. Touchdown! Held on, McKinnis, a beauty. His second of the season, highlight real material. Like there was a late reaction by the Elk secondary to get to this. You can see how open McKinnis is without allowing a touchdown. <laughs> Here's Evans. Far side, McKinnis has it for a first down. No, that's, let me correct that. Tackle for a loss, second and 12. Adams in the pocket, over the middle, and that is hauled in by Justin McKinnis. His first catch of the ball game is good enough for a first down. Moves in behind him, McKinnis there as well, the former rider. VA looks to his left, throws it, completion. And a first down into the hands of Justin McKinnis. Full DB mode for Amari Henderson. Second and four, near side, McKinnis, he's got it. And he'll step out of bounds right at midfield with 27 seconds on the clock. And 20 for an offense that has picked up some big chunks so far here tonight. Adams gets it away, that is caught and held onto by McKinnis. Adams is down, and there are flags by the quarterback. 
up at the Lion 48 first down so they caught a break there Justin McKinnis gets it up in midfield tries to work for more after a gain of seven to day delegate Richard Leonard in there on the tackle so let's have a look at the Ticat defense now the Lions with the ball in Hamilton territory of the 53 and a first down now second quarter play fake and it's complete there too to Justin McKinnis down by 11 points Full blitz. blitz coming Adams gets rid of it and he completes it too in traffic meeting on Sunday that's the next one this is a non-traditional Labor Day showdown and it is close early going with BC holding on to a four point lead and that one completed to Justin McKinnis Labor Day weekend starting off on a Saturday night in Montreal Lions lead Vernon Adams Jr. from his end zone completes it That'll buy him some much needed space as Justin McKinnis gets it up to about the 24 BC. So, second and seven now. Off to the right, complete. Justin McKinnis has another catch. And down inside the Alouette 25. First and ten from the 36-yard line. The quick throw, McKinnis, with the reception. Yeah, that's a that's a great first down play. I mean, they're first. Jarrell Broxton with the big block on the edge there. This time, the rollout for Adams, and he's got McKinnis who bobbles it. Let's see if they call it a reception. Looks like they have called it a reception and a first down, a gain of 11 yards. Baron Miles hasn't given up the big one. Pressure with four. This time, McKinnis with the reception of the 50. You know, you talk about not giving up the big play, and primarily that's been because they haven't had to expose themselves with the blitz. They've been able to get pressure with four. Adams dropping back. Has McKinnis. For a gain of 18 yards, his fifth catch of the game. Vernon Adams with eight fourth quarter comebacks in his career. He's got a ways to go to get to nine. Starts off there by getting the first down. Justin McKinnis breaks the tackle, gets close to the 10 yard line. Adams drops back, looking into the corner to McKinnis. He's got it! Touchdown, PC! Same play he scored his earlier touchdown on. McKinnis with two touchdowns in the game as he inches closer to 100 on the night. Touchdown and Vernon Adams just, yeah, throws it up for his big target to go up and get it. And it's very similar. And one of the, you know, the subtleties with how McKinnis has played these two plays. Vernon Adams with three interceptions in this game looking for some redemption here. He's got Justin McKinnis open on the sideline. He has caught the ball there and they are in field goal range. In field goal range, but now because it's a chump play, a major and win in regulation. I mean, this is this is a big one. A wheel route for McKinnis, who's been the number one target the over 100 yards. The previous play is under review by the command center. Well, he go ahead touchdown last week for the Lions, and what a great comeback it was. Adams on the run to his left, dropped one in there to McKinnis down inside the 20, and the BC Lions offense that has been deadly as of late, marching early against Edmonton. For Morgan, seventh play of the drive for BC here, early in the first quarter. Second and goal from the Edmonton five, empty backfield, far side, completion, touchdown McKinnis! BC strikes first, two touchdowns last week for the former rider and he's got another one here today what a drive from the visitors yeah. middle of the field well down here in this area you've got to play more man to man you just can't give up too much space on a 65 yard wide field so a little bit of man to man that's huge adams drops back on second and ten jeff Cole with pressure adams gets away adam big heel in Vernon continues to get away, and this time he finds an open receiver on the sideline, and that is Justin McKinnis. Plenty of work having a career season this year, but to Hatcher, one of the best in the league right now, Adams on second and ten, and he's got a receiver. That is McKinnis at the 20-12 in a first down. This time shows blitz, but doesn't. The corner out, McKinnis has it out of bounds. 
Great catch by the Kurt. Good enough for a first down to the 35-yard line. As you take a look, Justin Hardy, the number two receiver here in this trips formation, but the depth, this is a guy who filled in when Dom Rimes was out of the lineup. Get this team, or will he be able to get this team into field goal range? Calgary brings four. This time, the completion to Justin McKinnis. McKinnis breaks one tackle down to the 34-yard line. Seconds to go. The Lions in field goal range. Matchup right now, Calgary very much in control. Evans rolls to his right with Judge right there. McKinnis comes back to it. Initial down, but came back after. I think right now he's going to be just short. Ford on third and seven earlier. We'll see what happens here if they don't get it. Calgary shows pressure, bring five. He's got McKinnis, who's got a first down inside the 10 yard line. McKinnis still fighting before five down. Third and seven for the Lions. Evans drops back to pass, has one in his face, makes the catch. The completion, I should say, to Justin McKinnis, who is still on his feet as he crosses the 40. Lions at the 38. Evans drops back, finds McKinnis again. He goes down quickly at the 31. 106 defensive tackles. Second and 10. And that is completed at the 45. They get McKinnis involved for the first time this afternoon. First down, Vancouver. He's earning the right to start in the playoffs because he has had a great back half of the season. Three man front. Adams, a ton of time, far side, has a completion into the hands of Justin McKinnis, wrapped up immediately by Dietrich Nichols from their 40. Adams over the middle, drops it in there to McKinnis, a big catch down to the 45 with five seconds on the clock. Good throw, this may be the best for the Lions all game. Nice Time pocket, 25-yard game, and the Lions in Rick Kelly. His long is 51, and if you miss, like Len mentioned, could be trouble. Adams will roll out to his right, looking down the field. He's going to heave one up to end the half. Dominic Rhymes! McKinnis has it! A lucky bounce to McKinnis, and Hail Mary is answered for the BC Lions, who find some life with no time on the clock at the end of the... First half with a trailer. McKinnis is the trailer. The first two in Hollins and Dominic Grimes are looking to make the tip. They just want to keep the ball alive with all those defenders back there. And the trailer in McKinnis, number 18, is waiting for the tip. And he reacts with the left hand. Wow. Sean White. Back to on five. Adams. Down the field, over the middle, McKinnis! That is spectacular! As he goes up over top of Nichols and hauls it in. That'll put him over 100 yards receiving on the day. He's covered really well on the play. Diedrich Nichols is on the high shoulder.